friendship competition, love, and a race to the altar all take center stage in our next guest's latest novel. Author Hazel Rowe now calls Memphis home, and her new book is entitled Now or Never. She is joining us live here in the studio to talk about her new novel, and she is definitely prolific. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk about this. Hazel Rowe is your pen name. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about where this came from. Well, actually, my name is Rowe. Uh -huh. uh, my mother's name is Hazel, and she passed away, and I wanted to incorporate her in my journey. So I just thought it was befitting to have Hazel Rowe as my pen name. Oh, my goodness. Okay, <laughs> so what, uh, what was it that drew you to write? Um, actually, it was kind of a dare. <laughs> Wait, what? A what? Yes. Who? Okay. It was a dare. Um, oh, I was working at a job, and my coworker dared me to write a book. She said, your life seems so interesting. Oh, my goodness. You should write a novel. And so I took the dare, and here we are today. That is insane. <laughs> How many are you in now? So uh, today, my fourth novel, Now or Never, comes out. And um, I'm working on my fifth novel, Faith and Loveless Ministries. Okay, so without giving too much away. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about your latest book. Okay, Now or Never, uh, it deals with Maya. Mm. And she is dating or has been dating four gentlemen to make what? the perfect man. Maya? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, because they all together. Yes. Because each one has one big thing. Yes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. To make the perfect man. <laughs> and But now she's at a point in her life where she just wants the one perfect man for her. Oh and goodness. her best friend has been in a relationship also for seven years. And she she's not married. So now she's looking for love also. And so it's now or never that they find true love. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Now, I saw just kind of like, let's, uh, the word competition that comes in. Okay. And, um, <laughs> I, okay, would I be giving too much away? We don't have no, to do No, no, no. Okay, so. There's you, a gentleman, yes. Carson Reed. Uh -huh. He comes in the picture uh, because they actually work together. Mm -hmm. So he comes in the Carson. picture. Carson. Yes. And he is everything that a woman wants. And so is they. Is he, though? Is he? Cause, we'll see. We'll see. You have we'll, to find okay. out in the book. Okay. But, um, yes, they are, they're ready and they're, they're looking to see which one he picks, basically. Okay, now I have to know because your coworker uh, said dared you, right? Yes. Um, are these autobiographical? <laughs> <laughs> You can't say it. You don't have to say it. Okay, you don't have to No, say it. not really. Okay. I think okay. every author takes bits and right. pieces of themselves right. and put them into their novels. Okay, uh, quickly, let's talk about the foundation you're in because you, you pass it on. Well, I'm actually looking to start my foundation. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, um, I'm working on it now, and it is the Literary Princess Foundation, and I want to pass this on to young girls ages 12 to 17 and help them on their literary career. Well, it sounds like you have actually actually, you know, you already have a name, so you're just literally, it, it's in the works, so yes, that's great. it's in the works. Okay, how do we find this book? It sounds I saucy. At, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I am at uh, www.hazel-row.com, but my books are anywhere that books are sold. Anyway, okay, like, Amazon, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Barnes and Noble Novel Target, Memphis. Walmart. Oh, but tonight at 6, you have an Novel invitation. Memphis, nope, sorry. Yes. You have an invitation. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Tonight at 6. 6 p.m. I want everyone to come out. I'm going to talk about the novel. I'm just going to talk about books in general. Um, I'm going to answer some questions, and then we'll sign novels and, and take pictures. Hazel Rowe, possibly <laughs> the person in the novels. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so I much for coming. Thank you so much.